You would think if a meeting took place where the world's most powerful and influential people got together to plan world domination, a trustworthy media network would cover that, wouldn't you? So that's exactly what the Bilderberg Group is, a group of the world's most powerful, influential people, politicians, international bankers, etc., getting together and literally planning the New World Order. Okay, so let's see. We're going to click on the news here, see who's reporting it. Let's see if the genuine, trustworthy, truther network, Fox News, has anything to say about the Bilderberg Group. Because, you know, they, they care so much about getting the truth out there. I'm sure Sean has something to say about it. Let's see here. Um, wait a minute. I don't see anything from Fox News. Where's it at? Oh, that's right. Fox News doesn't cover it because they're gatekeeping shills just like the rest. And you QAnon Trump tards cannot see that, can you? This one event literally proves Fox News is the same as the rest. This one event, okay? You can't say this isn't newsworthy when the world's most powerful people are meeting this year in Washington, D.C., all right? And literally planning global domination. You can't say that just isn't newsworthy. You can't say it isn't interesting. Yet, there is no coverage of this whatsoever by Fox News. Wonder why? The media is ignoring it yet again. It's no surprise, obviously, really for anybody that CNN, MSNBC, ABC News, and all the other uh, controlled opposition, or not even controlled opposition, just straight up propaganda networks, um, aren't covering it. But, you know, I would think that when, when Fox News ignores this every year, not just this, of course, it ignores the Bohemian Grove meetings, ignores the Skull and Bones group, ignores, you know, for, for a agency that claims to be the only truthful network out there and being against the uh, fake news media, you would think they would finally cover Operation Mockingbird. A declassified government document showing the Central Intelligence Agency infiltrated uh, the uh, mainstream media from the higher up. Okay, no coverage of that whatsoever. But, you know, of course, to these brain dead uh, Fox News shields, Fox News is, is the only genuine network out there. You know, Sean Handy is out there to get the truth to you, isn't he? No coverage of this whatsoever. Share this video with your... Uh, Fox News, mainstream conservative. It's funny, you know, you have some truthers, these QAnon guys that consider themselves, uh, well, I, I mean, I take that back. They consider themselves to be truthers. But you have these QAnon people that, are, that call themselves truthers and still watch Fox News. If you're watching any mainstream media network and you think they're legit, I'm, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Even Tucker Carlson won't cover the Bilderberg Group. You know, and he's the one that, that actually goes off script sometimes. But I, uh, I, I, I want to show you guys uh, a few clips of these shills, these gatekeepers on Fox News going into complete denial mode uh, when they're confronted on the Bilderberg Group. And if you have any doubts at this point that what I'm saying isn't true, that, you know, if you think Fox News is legitimate, this should end that for you. Hundred nine four one, Sean. Uh, let's get to Mark. Is in Oceanside in California. What's up, Mark? How are you? Pretty good. Just noticing you're ignoring the Bilderberg Group conference again this year, and I think that shows that you're covering up for them and acting as uh, a gatekeeper. Pretty uh, sad. Uh, well, yeah. Why don't you talk about them? Huh? I read what all about it. Them up for? Because I'm hiding it from you. That's yeah, why. Yeah, you're hiding it from everybody. It's on the Drudge Report now. It's making it all over, man. We're winning, dude. You scumbag gatekeeper. I'm a scumbag gatekeeper. Okay, so that was a clip from Mark Dice that pretty much confirms that Sean Hennie's a gatekeeper regarding the subject. And the next one isn't about the Bilderberg Group, but this is about uh, the Bohemian Grove and Bill O'Reilly's deflection on it. So I'll play a clip here. Uh, I'm just trying to get this point across to these, these uh, uh, I don't even know what you would call them, half-truthers, you know, partial truthers that still think that Trump and Fox News and whatever is legitimate, that these people are gatekeeping shills, and uh, if, if you have any any friends, you know, that are, are just waking up and are still viewing Fox News and thinking they're legitimate, send this video to them, all right? But here's uh, the Bill O'Reilly clip. And 
Now, here's Bill O'Reilly. I feel good. Let's go to John in San Diego. What's going on, John? Can you address the Bohemian Grove Club private presidential? Uh, you know, these guys in San Diego, it, it's just, it's too nice. The weather's too nice there. It goes to their now, Here's what happens, because I used to have a house in San Diego. Right. Not everybody. But you go out to the beach and you, you know, do all that. And then some kind of substance gets in your mind. Uh -huh. And then John just demonstrated, like, can, can I address the Bohemian whatever? Whatever. You know. Um, now, the Radio Factor with Bill O'Reilly. Okay, we got an all-skate going on. Means you can ask me anything you want on 1-877-9-NO-SPIN. John, San Diego. What's going on, John? How do you feel about the private presidential resort, the Bohemian Grove, having... All right, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care. Uh, it's, you know, you get the Kool-Aid crew, um, the Bohemian Grove. All right.